Hi, my name is Matthijs Klaasner and I'd like to welcome you to video number two of the Adobe Experience Design tutorials. So this is the point where we ended in video number one and now we're going to make the second artboard to, uh, to go to the uh, coffee recipes if you will. In my design a lot of things uh, are the same in the, uh, the other artboards so I can alt drag the artboard uh, to another location and uh, that will give me an exact copy of uh, the first artboard. So uh, now um, it allows me to alter my uh, my design so I can get rid of these two buttons because I don't need those. Um, and probably this artboard will be uh, a bit longer. So I'm going to select the artboard itself and extend the page length for a bit. Let's see how much I need. And of course I get to a stage where I need to, to name my artboards. So this is the, the home uh, menu or the main screen and this is the recipes. There you go. Um, and now I'd like to alter the, uh, the interface a bit. So I need to select my logo uh, and a shift skill down. Something like this. And this is the title of the page. Uh, our uh, famous coffee recipes. And of course, I'd like to change the color of the topography again with the picker. There we go. So this is the basic setup for my page. Of course, I need some ingredients to put on the page. Um, so I get my folder with the assets, which you can download from the link in the description below the video. Um, and I go into folder number two, the drinks. And there are some text images in there with the, the recipes, the description and the names of the drinks. And there are some thumbnails in SVG and PNG which I can use in my interface. Um, so let's, uh, let's start off with, uh, uh, well, making a basic design for just one recipe. So let's uh, put the espresso in there and uh, let's arrange it something like this, a bit smaller. Uh, this could work and uh, now again I'd like to have uh, a rectangle behind it to put some information in there with some rounded corners potentially the same rounded corners as the image itself more or less uh, don't need a border and I'd like to have some transparency in there and I need to have this espresso cup on the front so there we go and now this allows me to come up with a coffee name that's one that's alt drag and about the coffee so these are just placeholders for me to use with the external text files. So I select my coffee name and change the font to Arial again. And this should be the bold one. And a bit darker. And this one um, is going to be Arial as well. Arial narrow. Yeah, let's stick with the regular one and let's make this black as well maybe uh, maybe this should be um, a text frame so when I uh, select the text tool I can also click and drag a text area something like this and this would probably work work better in my design so black again Uh, maybe a bit smaller something like this so the cool thing about Adobe XD is that it allows you to make a repeat grid so let's first of all make a group of this so right click turn it into a group and now I can turn it into a repeat grid so just by making it a repeat grid it will give you certain handles uh, which allow you to extend and 
copy your uh, your coffee cups in this case uh, but I'd like to do it in a vertical way so drag it downwards and I don't know how many uh, sorts of coffee I've got so let's stick with this six seven so let's go back to the finder and find out how many we've got well we've got eight uh, coffees so I need one more so I can select the artboard again and extend it a bit more something like this and then extend the repeat grid as well well having all these uh, espressos is a bit, uh, a bit boring uh, will keep you uh, quite awake I think um, but I'd like to fill all these uh, these cups uh, with the correct data and the correct images of course so I'm gonna go to the finder again uh, get my drinks and just drag and drop my uh, selection of images in there so I'm gonna select the PNG files and just release it at the first image there we go and now they're all the now all the images have changed into the corresponding uh, coffee cups so that's beautiful and the cool thing is that we can do the same thing with the names of the drinks just drag and drop it into the text field there we go everything changed and finally the description will do the same as well so that's a really really easy and slick way of making a, a recipe card in this case um, but you can imagine that uh, uh, yeah, the repeat grid is useful for a variety of, uh, of cases. So um, yeah, basically this is uh, the thing that we've made so far. And now all we need to do is uh, yeah, make the link between those two pages. Um, so that's the final part of this little video. Um, to make sure that this button goes to this artboard, um, you need to go to the prototype. And that will give you uh, oh, less tools. And <laughs> this is only meant to uh, to do the navigating in there, the linking. So um, when you select your button, it will give you a little blue arrow and uh, allow you to drag and drop onto the uh, corresponding artboard. So there we go. And that will give you a few uh, options. The target is recipes, so that's correct. Um, there is a dissolve uh, in between those two pages at the moment, so it will cross dissolve from one page to another. Uh, but you could do a slight right if you'd like as well. We'll see what that will end up to. And it does some easing, so there is a little bit of animation uh, between those two uh, slides. And the duration is uh, 0 0.4 seconds. So let's see if it works. Just by hitting the play button over here. And now when I uh, click on the uh, go to coffees recipes, it will go there. So that's beautiful. Of course, you want to go back as well. So probably we need to do something with the menu over here or uh, add a little arrow as well. Um, well, let's stick uh, with the menu at first to see if things work. So just click and drag backwards again. And then this should be slide left. The other way around. And let's see if that works. There we go, and back again. And of course, when it feels better to do it the other way around, it's no problem. You can still alter the transitions, slide left, there we go. And this one in the opposite direction, slide right. There we go, hit play. Yeah, much better. So the first bit of interaction uh, is uh, is ready for uh, <laughs> your client's review. Um, so yeah, and this is the end of uh, video number two. And in video number three, we're going to take a look at drawing inside of Adobe XD. See you later in video number three.